Hello everyone and I welcome you all to another lecture of our stack series and in the uh, previous couple of videos we learned about implement uh, implementation of a stack using uh, array and linked list all right and there we learned how to make a structure of a stack and how to implement these functions push pop empty size and top all right and um, if talking about this video what we are going to learn in this video so in this video we are going to learn about implementation of stack using inbuilt stl c++ class stl as you know stands for standard template library so that means that c++ has already uh, been occupied with a stack class which we can use rather than creating our own uh, structure of stack all right so before diving into that, let's uh, first talk about the applications of stack. You must be wondering like, how, why are we learning about this stack structure? Like what is the use of it? So the first use is the uh, stack can be used to check for the balancing of parentheses in an expression. All right. Suppose if I, you have been given a code and you write something this and then this. So this must check that this has been opened last so this must be closed first this is the first one so this must be closed in the end so this is a basic uh, parenthesis question and we'll uh, learn about it and we'll see more of it in a separate video all right and other than that we can see that redo undo features are at many places such as editors photoshops you have like seen in many uh, editors like Microsoft Word or Adobe Photoshop that we can uh, redo and undo in them right so that feature uh, requires stack and forward and backward features in web browsers so while browsing in a web browser so like you have to come back to the previous page so you click this icon uh, right and then uh, if you have to do something like if you have to go forward you then click the forward icon so that thing also uses the stack data structure all right now let's talk about the implementation using uh, c++ stl all right so let's try and write a code Alright, so to create a STL stack, what we uh, do is we write stack type of data structure in it. Suppose for now it is int and its name. So S is the name. Alright. So if I have to push something in it, what I simply do, I simply write S dot push in the value. Similarly. Similarly, all right. So what we did exactly here is we made a stack with values like this: thirty, twenty, ten. All right. So this is what we did till now. All right. Now suppose I write C out S dot size then I write C out S dot top and now if I do S dot pop now I write C out S dot top Now suppose I push something in it like zero and then I do see out s dot top. Alright and now I'll do see out s dot empty. I guess that this much code is enough to, uh, to help you understand the stack 
SGL fun uh, functions, right? So we talked about the push rule, right? Now I did s dot size. So s dot size basically returns the size of this. So currently the size is three. So we should get the output as three. Then we uh, wrote see out s dot top. S dot top should return the top value of our stack, which is right now thirty. All right, and then we pop this element s dot pop basically removes the top element it is a non returnable function so it just removes the top element okay so just this after this we again write s dot top that means we will get the output as 20 and after that we push 0 in it s dot push we will get the output as 0 we did as dot top and then we did see out s dot empty which will re return either the stack is empty or not all right so let's try and run this code let's see if our output and the terminals output is same or not okay we got 3, 20, 0 and 0. Um, let's change it to 5 so we can get the idea of the 0 on my interest color. Okay, 3, 30, 25 and 0. 3, 20 and okay, I'm gonna get away. What we did exactly. Order. So we're getting the same output 3, 30, 25 and 0. This is basically returns 1 if the stack is empty, otherwise 0. So our stack is clearly not empty here. So we'll get an output as 0. All right. So these are all the functions of our stack C++ STL library. All right. So we don't have to like explicitly create a structure for a stack rather than we can use the inbuilt stack from uh, stack class which can be used like this all right so i guess that was it for this video i hope you learned how to use the stl c++ stack class and also i hope you learned about the uh, applications of stack and in the upcoming videos you'll be looking at some of the questions based on stack so you'll uh, understand the concept better so thank you for watching this video. If you have any doubt regarding this lecture, please put down in the comment section. See you later.